Welcome back to the channel, it's nine, and today, well, we have a lot to talk about. It's pretty early in the morning, but Square Enix has dropped a bit of a bombshell with Final Fantasy VII info coming and some Final Fantasy XVI info we know is coming and what this could mean for a PlayStation event. And we're gonna dive into that and explain why it's the perfect recipe for a PlayStation event. Before we get into that, I wanna thank you all as we finally hit 8,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. I'm so humbled by all the support. And as always, if you have not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. It helps the channel a ton. Now let's kick it off. So during a Final Fantasy VII The First Soldier live stream, Tetsuya Nomura confirmed that more information will be coming sometime in June to celebrate the game's 25th anniversary with both Ever Crisis and the second part of the remake in active development. This was originally found by Twitter user at Xenosaga7. So let's break this down, see what this is all about, what could be happening here. So we heard earlier this year that Square wanted to reveal more info regarding FF7 Remake for its 25th anniversary, but was not 100% sure about it happening. And I think that kind of revolved around Final Fantasy 16's pacing and where it was in development. But now that they know for sure where it is and kind of what the target time frame likely is, I think they are ready to start showing us Final Fantasy VII Remake as well. So this has now changed to becoming more of a sure thing that Final Fantasy VII Remake will get some sort of info this year, which is very exciting, of course. Now we also have to remember that Final Fantasy XVI news is also coming next month. At least that's what we've kind of expected with the way they've spoken about it at the earnings call and as well as in this newest the first soldier live stream where we know that they are going to share some details about final fantasy 7 and all the projects that they have going on there obviously with ever crisis but also very likely with final fantasy 7 remake as well since things are just lining up in that order this is a square enix in the best form they have been in since ff7 8 9 10 era where they were just putting out games consistently and they were incredible games so i feel like we're getting a bit of that back again. You gotta remember Final Fantasy VII Remake 2, Final Fantasy 16, Final Fantasy XIV's continued support, KH4, and Dragon Quest shows they are taking their Japanese teams very seriously, more than ever, and driving them to their max potential. So I feel like there's a lot of good stuff happening there. But now we are going to cover the event that I believe is happening with Sony this June. And I feel like there's no doubt about it at this point. These Final Fantasy games are going to be revealed at the same event and they have exclusive deals with PlayStation. So it only makes sense for them to be revealed by Sony themselves. We've talked about this before, the Square Enix partnership and exclusive deals made with PlayStation would surely have these games only seen at a Sony event. You don't need an insider to tell you there's a Sony event coming this June. Look at everything happening around the companies that deal with Sony. Square Enix sharing games that have exclusive deals with PlayStation at this caliber, plus God of War Ragnarok alone warrant a PlayStation showcase. We also have big names from Insomniac and other major studios. If I was a betting man, I would expect Sony to drop an event that will be the biggest since the PS5 launch. I also do think based on their timelines and what their plans are for the showcase, there could be two showcases this year as Sony has so much that they haven't talked about and so many studios working on games that we don't even know anything about, like not what kind of game it is, not much. I mean, we've extracted stuff from job postings and stuff from like deviation, for example, but really in the grand scheme, we don't know anything about the game. So I feel like there's a lot to be said and it can't all be done in just one showcase. So I could totally see us having two, but all to say that there's a lot coming. June is going to be a big month for PlayStation. It's going to be a big month for Square Enix fans, especially if you're down with the Final Fantasy VII games, like you are going to love this June. I think that we're going to be very impressed with the showings that are going to happen. I think that Sony has a lot lined up and they've been so quiet. And the reason they have been so quiet is because they've been leading up to a very big drop of information. And usually when Sony's quiet for a long time, their next time they start speaking and they start sharing, it's a huge, massive event that will have a lot of people excited and talking about it for months to come. And I personally like that, although it does get frustrating to not hear enough from them. When they do talk, it almost makes it all worth it or does make it all worth it, depending on what's getting shown. But I feel like for this next one, it'll definitely be worth it for me being a huge Final Fantasy fan. Obviously, God of War we're waiting on. We've got Insomniac Games that still hasn't dropped their games that we're looking forward to, like Spider-Man 2, Wolverine. Like, we don't know too much about those games yet, so there's a lot to be seen. It, it's a really good time to be a PlayStation fan, a gaming fan. It's going to be awesome. 
But that is all I have for you guys in today's video. I'd love to hear from you. What do you make of this a Final Fantasy VII news. What do you think is going to happen? Do you believe these are going to be shown at a PlayStation Showcase, or do you think that these are going to be shown separately from Sony's events? Let me know in the comments. And as always, if you have not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that notification bell to get notified about all my upcoming videos, and share this video with a friend. You can follow me on Twitter and Twitch. Links will be in the description. I will talk to you all on the next one. Take care.